So I'm putting together a big rig to render fractal animations and I thought I'd use a fractal case for it. I was going to use a Meshify or Meshify C or something like that. Just last week the fractal torrent reviews came out and I was sold immediately. I mean look at this, 280 millimeter fans in the front three on the bottom. I mean, this is called the torrent because it's going to be a forceful flow of air. Fans on the bottom, no PSU shroud in the way. I mean, it's just going to keep everything cool. So yeah, I went out and bought one right quick. Lucky I did too, because the very day before it got delivered, they stopped all the sales because of a fan hub issue. Don't worry about it. I got a video made about that, but you won't have to contend with it. It'll be fixed by the time you get one. These here are the brackets that come on the front. That if you want to change those fans out to 140 or 120 millimeter. Pretty good packaging. You get a little box with the accessories, M.2 screws, stuff like that. User guide. It's a good well done user guide well packaged that's the bottom of the case look at that three fans down there i did some b-roll outside just couldn't resist the front grill looks like it's from a military jet aircraft there's the three fans from the bottom you've got tall legs you've got Filters on the bottom and the front. Got a fan hub there. Got all the bundles of fan wires, cables for the RGB, because this is the RGB one. Do the attention to detail though. Notice that all of those fans, the labels are sticking the same direction. They'll just stick them in haphazard. That's the bottom of the PSU shroud. You can see how light filigree the mesh on the back of the case is also. This is meant to be very, very much positive pressure inside, just blowing everything out. That there is a PSU shroud. You put the fan in upside down. Now, notice that bit of a swale there when the air hits that from those front fans it will be forced down into the VRMs and around the cooler I mean it's going to increase the velocity force of that air and wick away a lot more heat so here's the fan hub at the bottom for me I took it out and I'm going to send it in and get a replacement until then, I'll just plug the fans into the motherboard and they'll probably stay there anyway. They got the all of the cables that you get for the front panel nicely tucked away. Looks like there's some good space to pass cables through grommets and to practice cable management. Also, a person would want to do a lot of that at the top of the case where the power supply is. It looks like there's some room back there. Look at that space for grommets. Nice big area. Not a huge amount of storage space, but I'm gonna use this just for rendering animations. It's CPU based only, so it can just sit off to the side and churn away with a 5950X or a 3900X. I'm not sure which one I'll put in it. So there we have tall legs, keep the dust out, keep it up off the carpet. The glass side panels, the uh, one on the cable side is tinted pretty heavy. The other one's pretty clear. So you can see all the nice stuff inside. Got the normal panel, you know what this stuff is. On the far right is a reset button. So here's how you take the top off. I mean, this thing disassembles so well and it fits together so tight. I mean, these people must be OCD big time. The gaps here are, are straight. There's, there's nothing wrong. 
got a filler port there if you're going to be running your own custom loops. So that's where the power supply would go. You got a little wire going there to the RGB on the side that looked like it's not a whole lot of special RGB. The RGB in this case is involved in the fans. So look how easy these sides are to open. They got these little ball on the end of a stud there and it fits into this little socket. Just click, there it is. You can even lock the side panels. With the top off, you can put a screw into that little tiny spot. And then a person who's just casually wanting to open it up is gonna have a harder time figuring it out. Unless they watch this video. Of course, there's a tab on the bottom of the panels. That way they slip into that slot there to allow it to back off and then be lifted away. I mean, <sighs> this is such a well designed case. Fractal just makes their game better every single year. Every iteration of their cases is a few steps better than they were before. Constant improvement. And they listen to the comments that reviewers give and customers give. They make things better continually. I mean, check out that little Velcro strap there. That thing is to tie down your cables that run from the I.O. panel. That way, it just kind of manages the backside of the case a little bit so you don't just hang all sloppy. Now we have the back of the case. It doesn't come with an exhaust fan. You can put one on up there if you want, 120, 140. See the little Velcro straps and the cable run there and the tall legs to keep this thing up off the ground and let those fans suck in lots of air. Well, thank you much, folks. Subscribe. That way you'll watch the build. They'll be coming soon.